Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calumsot, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we continue to celebrate with great joy the resurrection of Jesus our Lord. And we celebrate this Eucharist to receive from Him the new life of His resurrection. Let us now prepare ourselves to welcome Jesus who comes to us in this Mass. Let us be sorry for our sins and let us beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. Lord Jesus, you are the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the resurrection and life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on, and on earth, earth peace to people, people of goodwill. goodwill. We, we praise you, you we bless, bless you, you, we adore you, you we glorify you, you we, we give, give you thanks for your great glory. glory. Lord, Lord God, God, heavenly King, King O God, o God Almighty, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, 
You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have bestowed on us paschal remedies, endow your people with heavenly gifts, so that, possessed by perfect freedom, they may rejoice in heaven over what gladdens them now on earth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice, and proclaimed, You who are Jews, indeed all of you staying in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and listen to my words. You who are children of Israel, hear these words. Jesus the Nazarene was a man commended to you by God with mighty deeds, wonders, and signs, which God worked through him in your midst, as you yourselves know. This man delivered up by the set plan and for knowledge of God, you killed, using lawless men to crucify him. But God raised him up, releasing him from the throes of death, because it was impossible for him to be held by it. For David says of him, I saw the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. Therefore my heart has been glad, and my tongue has exalted. My flesh, too, will dwell in hope, because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your Holy One to see corruption. You have made known to me the paths of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence. My brothers, one can confidently say to you about the patriarch David, that he died and was buried, and his tomb is in our midst to this day. But since he was a prophet and knew that God has sworn an oath to him that he would set one of his descendants upon his throne, he foresaw and spoke of the resurrection of the Christ, that neither was he abandoned to the netherworld, nor did his flesh see corruption. God raised this Jesus. Of this we are all witnesses, exalted at the right hand of God. He poured forth the promise of the Holy Spirit that he received from the Father, as you both see and hear. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my Lord are you. O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup, you it is who hold fast my lot. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. I bless the Lord who counsels me, even in the night my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me, with him at my right hand I shall not be disturbed. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Therefore my heart is glad and my soul rejoices, my body too abides in confidence because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your faithful one to undergo corruption. 
Keep me safe, O God. You are my hope. You will show me the path of life, fullness of joys in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. Keep me safe, O God. You are my hope. the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went away quickly from the tomb, fearful yet overjoyed, and ran to announce the news to his disciples. And behold, Jesus met them on their way and greeted them. They approached, embraced his feet, and did him homage. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go tell my brothers to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. While they were going, some of the guard went into the city and told the chief priests all that had happened. The chief priests assembled with the elders and took counsel. Then they gave a large sum of money to the soldiers, telling them, You are to say, His disciples came by night and stole Him while we were asleep. And if this gets to the ears of the governor, we will satisfy him and keep you out of trouble. The soldiers took the money and did as they were instructed. And this story has circulated among the Jews to the present day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, one day is not enough in order to celebrate the joy of the resurrection of Jesus. We cannot contain our gladness we cannot contain our joy just for one day. And that is the reason why the Church gives us this whole week, the octave of Easter, in order to linger the joy of the resurrection. Hindi lamang isang araw ang kagalakan natin dahil sa muling pagkabuhay ni Jesus. Kapag tayo'y masayang masaya, ayaw nating bitiwan ang kasayahan. Sasabihin natin sana magtagal pa ang galak, ang saya at ang pagdiriwang. Kaya nga ang buong isang linggong ito ay pagdiriwang patuloy na kagalakan sa pagkabuhay ni Jesus. We are full of joy. 
and we cannot contain that joy. And so we continue to celebrate the resurrection of Jesus. And this is the same joy that Mary Magdalene and the other Mary felt when they encountered the risen Lord. Our Gospel tells us today they were fearful but overjoyed. May takot pero punong-puno ng kagalakan. This is also the same joy that we could sense from the preaching of St. Peter as we heard in our first reading today. Peter preaches about Jesus, about His suffering and resurrection, and he was very passionate in his preaching. And we know that this passion, this fire, is from the joy that Jesus is truly risen. Kapag tayo'y punong-puno ng kagalakan, marami din tayong ikinukwento tungkol sa pinanggagalingan ng ating kagalakan. Kapag tayo'y masayang-masaya, hindi tayo magkandatuto sa pagkukwento sa dahilan ng ating kasiyahan. And that joy could be felt in the preaching of St. Peter. Easter is full of joy. The gift of Easter, one of the gifts of Easter is joy. But you know, my dear brothers and sisters, not everyone was happy about the resurrection of Jesus. As we heard in our gospel today, the chief priests and the elders were not happy about the news that Jesus rose again. Akala nila noong makita nilang mamatay si Jesus sa krus, tapos na ang kwento ni Jesus. Wala na ang kumokontra sa kanila. Kaya nung nababali-balita na namuling nabuhay si Jesus, nagsisimula na naman silang magalit. They were not happy that Jesus rose again. So much so that they even bribed the soldiers in order to fabricate stories, to fabricate lies, that the disciples of Jesus stole His body. Tingnan ninyo, mga minamahal na kapatid, noon pa mang panahon ni Jesus, usong-uso na yung mga binabayaran para gumawa ng kasinungalingan. Usong-uso na yung babayaran para gumawa ng kwento sa ikasisira ng iba. Panahon, na, panahon pa man Jesus, meron na niyan. The chief priests and the elders are not happy that Jesus rose again. And not only were they not happy, they also do not want others to be happy that Jesus is risen. They want to kill the joy of others. And so we could consider them as the original kill joys. Ayaw nilang maging masaya, ayaw din nilang yung ibang tao ay maging masaya sa pagkabuhay ni Jesus. Mga kill joy ang mga chief priests at ang mga elders na ito. My dear brothers and sisters, Easter is about being joyful. And we are told over and over again that the joy of Easter is different from the joy of Christmas. The joy of Christmas is somewhat external, panglabas, dekorasyon, ilaw, regalo, kasiyahan, reunion, yan ang saya ng Pasko. 
Pero ang kagalakan ng muling pagkabuhay ay nasa kalooban. It is the joy that is rooted in the fact and in the truth that Jesus is truly risen. That is why every time we are joyful because of Jesus, we experience the resurrection. My dear brothers and sisters, are you joyful? Masaya ka ba? At saan ba nang gagaling ang kasiyahan mo? Do you share this joy to others? Do you make your joy viral? Na binabahagi mo ang iyong kagalakan sa iba. Kapag may malungkot at dumating ka, sumisigla, sumasaya. Dahil daladala mo ang kagalakan na nagmumula kay Jesus na muling nabuhay. Are you full of joy? And do you share joy? Or are you a kill joy? Baka naman ayaw mong maging masaya ang iba. Hindi ka masaya at sinasabi mo kung ako hindi masaya, wala rin karapatan ang iba na maging masaya. I will kill their joy. If we do that, we become enemies of the resurrection. My dear brothers and sisters, let us, be, let us not be antagonists of the joy of the resurrection. Huwag tayong maging kontrabida sa kagalakan ng muling pagkabuhay ni Jesus. Huwag tayong maging kill joy. Let us be joyful because of Jesus. And let us share this joy to others. Because we have always a reason to be joyful. And that reason is simply because Jesus, our Lord, has triumphed. Jesus, our Lord, is risen. Through the gospel, Christ speaks to us with words of eternal authority and deeds of healing power. Let us now present our needs to our God through the intercession of our risen and triumphant Lord. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that the church may be renewed in the risen Christ and bring the message of hope and love to all the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That government officials may not fear to live by the truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the peace of our risen Lord may dwell in our hearts and in our homes and spread throughout the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That we as a community may share the joyous news of the resurrection with those we meet, we meet each day. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That the faithful departed having died with Christ, may share in His glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in silence for our own petitions. Let us remember the people who need our prayers as well as the intentions offered in this Mass. God our Father, we pray that the joy of Easter may penetrate our minds and our hearts and bring us closer to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
katulad ng mga puti at ititipon upang maging tinapay na nagbibigay buhay kami naway mag Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept graciously, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your peoples, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain an ending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this day above all to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. 
do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis R. Pope and Broderick, our administrator, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the risen Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. 
Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am, am not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May the grace of this Paschal Sacrament abound in our minds, we pray, O Lord, and make those you have set on the way of, of eternal salvation worthy of your gifts, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, who by the resurrection of his only begotten Son, was pleased to confer on you the gift of redemption and of adoption, give you gladness by his blessings now and forever. Amen. May he, by whose redeeming work you have received the gift of everlasting freedom, make you heirs to an eternal inheritance now and forever. Amen. And may you, who have already risen with Christ, in baptism through faith, by living in a right manner on this earth, be united with him in the homeland of heaven forever and ever. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in the peace of the risen Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Regina Celi, Laetare, Alleluia. Qui aquem eruisti portare, Alleluia, resurrexit, sicut dixit, Alleluia, ora pro nobis Deum, Alleluia.